EFNN, The Tiger, Financial News Network. TFNN, Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of uh, very cloudy Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 9 a.m. update. And currently, we have all the U.S. equity futures pointing downward. The Dow futures off 214. It's about seven tenths of a percent. The Nasdaq off one and four tenths or 176 points. The ES Mini off nine tenths or 38 points. Russell's off 11. That's about six tenths to the downside. Over in Asia last night, it was a mixed bag. The Shanghai Nikkei closed higher. The uh, Nikkei up 347 points. Strong like bull and a large A to B equal CD to the upside out there. Hang Seng off 212. Uh, gold is off 11 bucks right now. Silver down two pennies. Uh, Platinum is off a buck. Light sweet crude trading out at 117.80. That's up 93 cents. Natural gas up 11 pennies. She's trading out at 859. The 30 year treasury is now off one full point and seven ticks. Trading out at 137.16. Let's get a feel for what all that means out there by taking a look at our nine panel market update chart. We begin by taking a look at the ES mini. That's in the upper left hand corner. We can see that prices run into resistance. Resistance being a descending trend line and top of its daily profile out there that basically being the 40 the resistance level is uh 40 37 yeah 40 no is that what the heck it is uh yeah 40 30 40, 37 being the top of the uh, daily profile. If we take a look at spot volatilities, it's still below its 50-day exponential moving average. So uh, bears out there, don't get too caught up. You'd love to see that spot volatility is close above its 50-day expense moving average out there. And that's at 27.16. So that's a number to be watching. The NQ also running in resistance, the top of its daily and weekly profiles in the 12, 995 to 12,973 range out there. So it makes sense that the markets are pulling back. Could this be the top and the beginning of the next leg lower? Absolutely, it could be out there. But that proof would then really come from that spot volatility being above the 50-day exponential moving average. Gold or, uh, gold right now is uh, found resistance at the top of its daily profile at 1879. The U.S. dollar index finding support at the bottom of the new profile out there. That's at 101.28. Silver, uh, if it can close today above 22.26, would be signaling a move to the 22.76 level. Lights be crude. Trade above a prior swing point high out there. It does have a Rhodes Mintum indicator top that was formed a few days ago. That was on May 31st. So if you get lights to be crude of a 119.98, that tells you we are headed much, much higher. Folks, stay tuned. Tommy O'Brien with the Morning Market Kickoff is up uh, next. Have a fantastic Friday. I'll see you on Monday, 1 o'clock sharp. 1 o'clock sharp. Take care and have a fantastic week.